Uh, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. Uh, this is a game I've been following for a little while and wanted to play for quite some time. For right now we're going to leave all these settings the way they are. And uh, we'll put subtitles on because we want to make sure that you guys are going to be able to read everything. And for right now we'll leave this the way it is. For right now I think that's what we're going to end up leaving it the way it is. Uh, let's see. E. Graphics quality. Let's go ultra on everything. Why not? Everything's high there. And our full screen. Yeah, everything seems to be good there. And what else? Controls. Uh, cycle dialogue up. Climb the space bar. Use. Uh, mouse sensitivity seems to be pretty good. Move forward. WSAD. Toggle jog is R, zoom is the right, uh, map, compass, flashlight, camera, read held object, Q, keep held object, E, tab, F5, F9, escape. Alright, seems fair enough to me. Let's get this game rolling guys. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as I'm going to enjoy recording it. By the way, I'm going to try to shut up during any of the dialogues so I don't interrupt anything that could be important. Alright, let's go. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your, your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. You, you're pretty. So, what's your, you know, major? Let's do that. You slur, slur the world major and it smells like coors you give an awkward smile evolutionary biology she says and i'm a professor cool your reply what's your she replies or she asks she sniffs the air toxicology <laughs> was that a burn you ask she says definitely worried she hurts your feelings she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger one week one week later you're julia's boyfriend she sounds pretty easy to me. And a cheeseburger? Come on. I could have at least put bacon on it. Alright, so I got my backpack. Uh, that's my badass pickup truck, isn't it? Well, what else is around here? Did I steal anything? Hmm. Alright, so we have a nice truck. Gotta remember, this is uh, 1975. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on his deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her, bring it with her to class. She's also intimidating but gentle-eyed German. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. 
you know what? We're going with Beagle because this is the one that she loves. And if anybody knows women, it's chills. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him, and you love him too. Bum chicka bear wow. You know that paid off. 1979, you talk out in the deck in summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. I hate the damn things. Can't we just get another dog? <laughs> kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day. You know what? Let's get it on. In that case, you should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough it's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. She says absolutely, or you say she's absolutely right. Now you're at Thoroughfare. Is that Thoroughfare? Thoroughfare Trailhead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Trail is not recommended for inexperienced. Can I like steal the map? And I can zoom in. The I can't read that. The trail may be vague along several stretches and blah blah blah. Oh wicked, I got a cool ass hat. I'm gonna put a hat on. I'm gonna look like an uber douche. Did I already grab my bag? I think I did. And now the way I'm going to play this game, guys, uh, some of you guys might find my style a little annoying. I plan on exploring everything and looking for everything. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to 100% it or anything like that, but I do want to look through as much as I can to experience the entire game. And for a lack of better terms, to drag out the gameplay. Because I want to enjoy this game for all that it has has sorry i mean you look at the scenery and the artwork that they have here they've done a lot of work on this and they've got some amazing voice actors uh one of the guys from Mad Men. they've got uh, a couple of the ladies from the walking dead and stuff like that so it should be an epically amazing game i can't wait to keep bringing it to you guys i'm going to be pumping out at least two episodes today uh, there be, should be another one either by lunchtime today or just after my time Eastern. So uh, look forward for the next one. Do smash the like button as much as you guys can to help me out and get this thing out there and recognized. It would be amazing if you would do that for me. All right, let's continue. 1980, it's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, ignore her. Um, never go to bed mad. That's one tip I'll give you. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. <laughs> you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Let's do this Victoria's Secrets model. Very nice. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So, I'm assuming, because, you know, we're a Firewatch dude, hence the, uh, the name. And, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that this is all a backstory that leads up to how we actually got to our, uh, our actual destination. Two forks, fire lookout. Eight more miles still. That's cool. Cool. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. 
There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Buh, 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 fuck the dog, Julia yells. <laughs> she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. And you beat his goddamn face in for beating up our dog named Bye Bye Ba Fuck the Dog. <laughs> Your arm gets cut up, but you beat up the guy or you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. I thought they meant a different path on life, but. I guess they meant like an actual path. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale was in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. That's a big ass commute there, dude. Um, you know this is going to end out one way or the other. Not so good. So I'm going to take the hard road and tell her not to take the job. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you, you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. And that's the reason why we break up. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. I'm all about talking about it, so let's do that one. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret, for now. I'm a sexy beast. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. I'm gonna do this, man. Love is blind, makes you do things, and especially if you really care about the person, it doesn't matter, you'll go through anything to get through it. This is one hell of a hike. And I don't mean the journey that we're walking, I mean a hell, a hell of a hike in life. Some crazy shit. No wonder the guy drinks. Really in love with the artwork. They did a phenomenal job. It's like, uh, 
I don't know, like a realistic cartoon kind of thing. Hey, look. Very nice. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything with without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on a deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. I'm not putting a chair on the door. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, and everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint, you blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. I wonder what that job is. I think I know. And there it is. Epicness. Amazingness. Now, I gotta figure something out here. Uh, let's see. Oh, you heard it. Scream chat. Alright. So this looks to be our new home. I don't really know what this is. Where's David Duchovny when you need him to figure out a mystery? T-T-I-O-T. -T. Come on. Some of you gotta get that reference. This is going to be like Screenshot Central. <laughs> like paparazzi all over this shit. Uh, so if you guys don't know, this is a... Um, I'm going to say like an NC... Uh, yeah, maybe it could be an NC-17. I don't know if there's nudity. I've heard that there's nudity. Lots of swearing. Uh, so this is definitely not for your kids to watch. And uh, if you so choose to let them, that's your problem, man. Not mine. Turn on the power. How the hell do I do that? Okay, so that sure shit didn't work. Oh, there we go. And we have light. Hey, what's up? Uh, so what the hell was the button? Uh, settings, controls. Psycho dialogue. So I'm Two guessing that's what this is thoroughfare tower. Come in. Where the hell is the button for that? Oh, I got to get I a radio. Your lights are on. And there we go. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People <laughs> take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. 
Okay. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back at home can stand you. Uh, okay. Let's go with that. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I tell you guys, this is absolutely fucking awesome. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. It, it's a creepy bitch, man. I swear to God. Uh, before we do anything else, let's call the episode here. We got the good intro, the backstory, and everything like that. Before we start going nuts and uh, going out to explore, I wanted to get this episode out as quickly as I could. I really wish I could have gotten it out to you a few days earlier, guys. But, uh, you know, things stopped me from doing so, but I'm happy to be playing this. Uh, you know, I'm just excited to be doing this for you guys i hope you guys appreciate it if you like this episode please hit the like button it really really helps my channel grow and if you do want to see more videos every single day make sure you hit that sub button as well i'll see you guys in the next one probably in about three or four hours take care